Hey guys, it's your girl Kiki and I'm back with another video. In today's video, I'm going to be attempting to get my audio situation together. Um, there have been a lot of comments about my audio. People are coming from my neck. Everyone wants to talk about my audio. Like, leave me alone. I film my videos off of my Canon DSLR. I think I have the T6 or the T7. I had just been using the microphone that my Canon came with. Um, it works in certain situations, but lately because my room is really echoey and other places I film are really, really echoey, it really hasn't been the best. Let me tell y'all, the first thing that came to my mind when I thought to order a microphone was, oh, let me get a Rode mic, okay? Like, I always see people have Rode mics. I always hear about Rode mics. That's what I pretty much thought I was going to get. But then when I started to Google road mics and I found out how much they were, I was just like, oh my gosh, like, I didn't even want to buy a microphone. And now here I am buying this road mic, like prices were like $150, $175, $299. And I was just like, no, like I need to keep my coins. I cannot do this. I'm not spending $200 hairs on a microphone. I'm not. I'm sorry, y'all. Like if that was the case, y'all were just going to have to deal with me as it. Y'all were just going to have to hear the background noise, the echo, all that, because I was not spending that coin. So I got to YouTubing, which you know life is, and I um, found this guy, he did a video, and he was like, oh, this mic's $25, like it works perfectly fine, it works just like my road mic. So I ordered that mic immediately, I'm going to unbox it today, and we are going to try it, and see what's good, we're going to see, we're going to do an audio test, okay, I'm going to see if my audio is better. Right now, the audio is just from my Canon. So we're going to see the difference. If you are new to my channel, please subscribe. I would really, really appreciate it. Turn on your post notifications. And we can get right into the video. I ordered this Thursday. Today's Saturday. It was here. I found out Amazon is like now delivering on Sunday. Which I'm happy, but also like sad about. Like, how does that work? Do we get mail on Sunday now? Like, did that change? This is the mic. <laughs> this random brand, I don't know how to say it. Let's see if I can figure this out. I don't know a lot about cameras or microphones. So let's see, it comes with this little bag. Okay, this is nice and bougie. I feel like it's like the felt, you know, Chanel duffel bag, okay. Then we have some instructions. I'm really excited about this though because I really want the sound in my videos to improve. And if this works for $25, like, it's a gem. Then we have the box, okay. You open it up, you have this like felt piece. And this is the microphone, so this is it. And so I believe this piece goes basically on top of your camera. What is this? I don't know what these are. They look like zippers, but they came in here. So let's try and uh, add this to my camera. I'm gonna have to switch to my phone uh, to record this part of the video. Um, so bear with the sound on that. You know, we can do three sound. We can do iPhone sound, this $25 mic sound, and then this Canon sound. Basically all of the reviews I've seen on Amazon, people were like, it's pretty good. They're like, it's a lot better than the Canon camera. Uh, it's a lot better than the mic that comes with the Canon, but it's not like Hollywood sound. But a lot of people in the comments were like, it's perfect for YouTube videos. Like, it's a perfect starter mic. So, this is my first mic. Maybe eventually I'll get a Rogue, a Rode mic, y'all. You know, whenever I hit a million subscribers, I'll go ahead and invest, you know, in a Rode mic. Okay, so this is how my camera is currently set up. Ignore, I sit on that chair, y'all. You know, y'all can't see the chair in the videos though. But yeah, this is how my camera is currently set up. This is where I'm assuming the mic will go. But I also feel nervous about this because of where my ring light is. I'm like, will the mic be able to kind of handle that ring light? All right, hey guys, sorry about this part. It's on my phone, so it's not the best quality. But this is my camera. And then this is the mic. So... I figured out the mic goes onto my camera here. Okay, yeah, so you tighten it this way. Then we need to plug it in. So here is my camera thing. So I'm gonna plug it in here.
Okay, so I just realized that my camera does not have an external mic port. I can't use this mic, so I'm gonna go ahead and remove it off the camera, see if I can return and get my $25 back. <sighs> Honestly, y'all, I know I made a video about a year ago talking about this camera, the Canon T6, saying, oh, the best camera for YouTube. I just use that as the title because I didn't know what else to title it. But I wanna let y'all know this is the worst camera for YouTube. This is literally the worst camera for YouTube. Like, I was Googling and people were saying this is considered a entry-level DSLR, so there's not, it lacks a lot of amenities. I think this camera is created for photos. This camera is amazing to take photos. It's an amazing entry-level way into photos. But when it comes to videos and creating YouTube comment, this content, this camera is not the best. I hate that it doesn't have a flip out screen. It doesn't have a flip out screen, which sucks. You know what I mean? So I never really know if I'm focused, if I'm in the camera. It doesn't have an external mic port. I'm really at the point now where I want a new camera, but I've been trying to work with this camera because this camera was an investment. It was about $450. So I was like, you have a camera, like work with this, but I'm kind of at the point where I'm ready to like sell this on eBay, cut my losses and buy a new camera. So let me know in the comments below what you guys think is the best camera for YouTube. I've been eyeing the Canon G7X. I feel like that camera is really, really dope, really portable, cool for vlogging. It kind of at this point, I kind of just want to sell this camera like today and then just buy a Canon G7 and move on with my life because this is like I'm upset like I'm over here trying to fix my audio I was like you know what like I'm gonna fix my audio like don't worry so if you are planning on buying this camera for YouTube like I do like do not buy this camera for YouTube I'm making this video right now to let you know this is the worst I mean I'm sure there's probably worse cameras I obviously make it work but this is the worst camera for YouTube like just don't this sucks you can't add a mic to it. You can't flip out the screen and actually see what you're doing. You know, it's a good camera for photos, I guess. And maybe I'll keep it for photos, who knows, but I think it's time for me to get a new camera and that's, I've been trying to like avoid that, biting that bullet of buying a new camera, but I feel like it's time, like I have to. So let me know what cameras you guys use or what you think are really good cameras for YouTube. Like I said, obviously the G7's on my mind, but I wanna know what else is out there because the G7's pretty pricey. Like the G7's like 600 sometimes. I'm really, really upset about this. Like I still probably, I think I'm actually gonna keep this mic for when I do get another camera and it'll just work with that. But I guess in the meantime, I'm sorry guys, I'm trying to figure out my audio situation. Don't think I'm like not aware of it. I'm working on it. This is me working on it and it just didn't work out. This is this is my life. Honestly, y'all, when I bought this, it was more of an impulse buy because my other camera was broken and I was just like, I need a camera. And I've seen people with these big cameras and I always thought they were like cool. But like not really doing the research and realizing that this camera isn't the ideal camera for what I'm trying to do for my setup. But hopefully I'll have it figured out. I'll get another camera soon. It's on my radar for sure to get another camera, but in the meantime, um, this is what I'm working with, phone, DSLR. I'm not gonna let it stop me from creating videos because I made it this far with this camera, so like I'm just gonna keep pushing until I can correct and resolve the situation. YouTuber struggles, you know? This is definitely a YouTuber struggle. If you're new to my channel, please subscribe so you can stay tuned and be there when I get better audio. I'll see you guys in my next video.